human rights groups in Ethiopia say there are increasing reports of abuses by Eritrean soldiers who had crossed into Tigray. Ethiopia's Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has faced mounting international pressure to address reports of human rights abuses during the conflict in Tigray. Let's now take a listen to 14-year-old Mibra Esayas as she recalls the day in November 2020 when she says Eritrean soldiers invaded her home in Ethiopia's Tigray region and killed her mother and father. At 14 years old, Mibrak Ezias and her five younger siblings are now orphans. She'll never forget the day in November when soldiers burst into her home in Ethiopia's Tigray region. Her father, a priest, begged them not to shoot. Daddy said I'm a civilian. They shot him in the chest with three bullets and he fell down on his head. We saw Daddy lying there. Then they shot my mama in her back. Mibrak describes how she was shot in the thigh as her brother and sisters screamed in terror. The soldiers, she says, were Eritrean. On Tuesday, Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed acknowledged for the first time that Eritrean soldiers had crossed into Tigray during an Ethiopian military campaign against the region's former ruling party, the TPLF. He since said the Eritrean military has agreed to withdraw, that he's facing mounting international pressure to address reports of human rights abuses. Mibrak is among more than two dozen civilians in Tigray who told Reuters they were victims or witnesses to shootings, gang rapes and looting by Eritrean soldiers. <laughs> Mibrak hid her siblings under the bed during the incident in the town of Zalambessa near Eritrea's border. They stayed there for two days without food, water or electricity. It felt safer, she says, and they didn't have to see her parents' bodies. Ethiopia and Eritrea have called reports of atrocities by Eritrean soldiers overblown. Abiy says he's raised the issue with Eritrea. And he's also said Ethiopian soldiers found to have committed rape or looting would be held accountable. Eritrea's information minister said by text message that it was not in our military tradition to kill civilians. Reuters verified parts of Mibrak's account through her medical records with parishioners from her father's church and with her aunt and uncle, who are now caring for the children. In a two-bedroom apartment, the aunt holds up a photo of Mibrak's parents. Don't show the children, she says. Mibrak holds it and cries at night. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.